Hi, it's Natasha. Welcome to Pilates Ring Class, or also known as the Magic Circle. Um, if you don't have one, grab a small ball or even a yoga block and do what you can. Um, they're pretty inexpensive and I'll link this one below. Let's get started. Let's start with the feet shoulder width apart. Spread the toes, anchor yourself down. Ground down through all four corners of the feet. Roll the shoulders back and down. Proud heart. Close the eyes for a moment and just hold the ring in one hand by your sides. Gentle tuck of the tailbone, draw the navel in, wrap the ribs. Deep breath in, and sigh it out. Deep breath in, exhale, let it go. Good, inhale, reach the arms up, gaze to sky, transfer the ring, and then press down through water. And again, inhale, reach up, transfer slowly, Exhale, press down. Two more like that. Breathe in. Grab the ring. Press the palms away. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, reach up. Transfer the circle. And press down. Do that imaginary water, creating tension in the muscles. Bring the arms overhead. Go ahead and grab at the handles and start to pull the arms behind the ears, stretching through the shoulders. So come maybe as far as you can back safely and then exhale start to round so we'll make this little c and other way inhale exhale soft knees toes can lift inhale heart to sky gentle back bend no force exhale one more time inhale and exhale bring the ring behind the back and then squeeze the arms and shoulder blades behind you as you lift and lower. Same thing. So we'll squeeze shoulder blades, lift arms. Exhale, gentle back bend, heart to sky. Only drop the head back if that feels safe for you. Inhale, two more. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. Go press the ring into the hamstrings, send the heart up, maybe drop head. Engage the glutes. Tuck the chin and lift. Bring the arms over the head and come to a goddess or plie. Gentle tuck of the tailbone again. So we're just taking this pelvic tilt and we're prying the knees apart. Soft grip. Start to pump the ring close together as you engage the chest. Good. Draw the belly in. Breathe here. Little pumps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it together. So you might find you're already shaking. Come down a little bit lower. And everyone's um, little circle might have a little bit of different resistance. Just do what you can. Keep pressure on the circle. Come down a little lower. Now let's pulse the legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna open and switch. Grab the handles. Nice. Stretch the arms apart. Exhale. Center. Push away. Shoulders over the hips. Let's do four more. Bringing heat into the body. Legs and arms. Two and one. Hold it in. Reach up and we'll take a side bend. Come back through center. Push it up. Exhale, side bend. So not a death grip on the handle. We're just gonna use that to pull ourselves over. Gentle tug. Exhale. To sit a little deeper. Exhale. Come down through center, up and exhale. Two more like that. Belly to spine. Reach, exhale. Come down a little lower. Reach, exhale. How are those legs? Pop the heels up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both heels up. Balance. Four, three, two, one. Heels down, heel toe narrow. We're going to set the ring right into the inside of the ankle or find a placement that feels comfortable for you. Walk the feet in. So their feet are about hip width apart, maybe slightly wider. So we have some tension in the, um, in the, into this ring and we're engaging inner thighs. Regular squat, eight, seven, squeeze the glutes, six, five, in the chair, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna transfer our weight into the right foot. And just balance, you can take your hands to your hips, out, 
in whatever you like. Little baby pulse here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, straighten out the legs, transfer the weight. Weight into the left foot, hold here. Soft knee, straight spine, arms are wherever you like. Start to pulse this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, straighten out, and land. Eight more squats, this time we'll do a little heel raise. Doesn't have to be super high depending on how you have this attached and how it feels for you. Eight, seven, six, five, on the toes, four, squeeze the glutes and hamstrings up, three, here's two, and one. Land on the heels one more time, transferring weight. This time maybe take the arms in a different place and pulse for eight, seven, six, five. Can you make it a little bigger movement? Three, two, one, hold, shift weight, balance, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This will work with a ball as well. Come back through center, forward fold. Shake out the head, let everything hang, and then grab the, the circle in your hands. Shake out the head, sway and rock the hips and spine. Do what feels good for you now. And then widen your feet to a gentle wide straddle and we'll take the circle in front for side lunges, shifting side to side, bending into one knee deeply and then transferring to the other side for eight more, seven, six, put some compression into the circle so the shoulders, deltoids and biceps are on, <sighs> couple more and hold it here, hold it right here. We're gonna take the circle onto the floor. We're gonna push down into it and then abduct. And if you're on a, uh, a ball, you might be a little bit lower, that's okay. Eight, seven, abduct. Six, side, hitting the side of the thighs, the belly's in, abductors. Here's four, three, balance, two, hold it up on one. We press down a little stronger, lift the legs, squeeze. Oh, if you fall, no big deal. Come to the other side. Hold the arms out, find balance. Set the circle down, push some energy into it. Turn on the shoulder, start to slip into the foot. And then leg out and in, arm where you like. Eight more from here. Eight, seven, don't trust the circle, you gotta trust your core. Here's four. Three, two, hold it up on one. Press a little firmer. See if you can fight for the balance and come on out of it. Awesome work. Take the circle, place it back in between the calves, finding a comfortable place. Walk the feet inward. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold. We have our plank walk. Tip onto the toes, walk out to plank. Gonna pull up off of one foot and then off of the other foot. Press the shoulders down in protraction. Slight lean as you lift the hips. Lean and lift. Start to rotate a little bigger. Grip the mat with all 10 fingers. We haven't been on the hands yet. So really engage through the whole hand. Drive the belly up so we're not heavy in the hands. Circle, circle the hip open. A little bit more each one if you can. Twisting and walk back. When you get there, let's flip the wrists upside down. Bend the knees as much as you need and bounce it out here. Head can fall heavy. Shake it out. Bend the fingers open and close like you're blinking. And ragdoll to the top. How are we doing? Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. To the mat, lift the tailbone. Start to walk the fingers forward, index finger forward, the slight external rotation. We press the shoulders down, we tuck the tailbone, pull the belly in, breathe here. We're gonna open into side plank. So very carefully turn and lift. Did you make it? Little baby pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Press into the fingertips, squeeze the belly, 
Lift the hips, slow rotation down. Other side. Lift, turn, take your time to get there. Find your balance. Push that foot, inner thighs. Adduction, drawing towards the midline for six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift a little higher, come back around. All right, we're gonna try. And then take the circle into right above the knee onto the quad and the forearm. Again, you're gonna find a place that works for you, that's comfortable, you're not pressing into anything that hurts. Hover again, and we're gonna take the foot that has the ring and lift it and start to push forward. Very small movement, deep core, shoulders protracting, hovering, eight, seven, six, five, maybe bigger if you can, and one. Now hover. Lift the other leg for eight, seven, six, little donkey kick. Exhale each one. Here's four, three, two, how we doing? One, can we extend, hold, and then maybe you can take your right hand to your left shoulder. Balance here for four, isometric hold, three, two, one, nice work. Bring it down, bring the knees down, and we'll switch sides. Circle out that left wrist. And again, find your setup. Right at the forearm and above the knee on the quad. Quite low, maybe just a few inches above the mat on each side. And then set up your hovering table. Shoulders down, index finger forward, grip onto the mat like you're rock climbing. Lift and walk in a little bit. And then start to pick up the foot that has the ring with it. Start to pulse it in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower, hover, leg lift on the left leg. Eight, seven, six. Keep protracting the shoulders. Five, four, three, two, we got this. One, hold, hold your hover. Can we lift the left arm to the right shoulder? Squeeze the belly in. Pop up through the back of the heart. Lower the knees, challenge your edge, and release. Circle out that right wrist, or both. Take a counter stretch. Big breath in, and a child's pose. Nice work. All right, push-ups. We're gonna have to adjust depending on your height, but we're going to take the circle right about at the bra line, right under the chest. Take the elbows, the hands shoulder width apart, and set yourself up in your plank. So, walk the hands slightly in, dip the elbows to the ring, straighten. Dip, straighten. See if you can challenge by pushing a little lower and then firing a little higher. Don't lose connection. So even if you need to keep the elbows a little soft, that's okay for this one. Three, two, one, knees down, let it fall, head comes at the circle, take some breaths here in child's pose. Again, and you need to kind of put some weight into the top of the hands to stretch them, go for it. Or you're resting in child's pose. Take your belly onto the mat. Take the circle out in front of you and we'll take a big locust lift. Forehead to mat, take a deep breath in and charge everything up. Breathe right here and set it down. Two more, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Take your hands to the top of it and then start to lift your upper back here. So you're gonna feel a little wobbly. See if you can press down firmly, roll the shoulders back, heart through, engage the glutes, turn the heels up. Maybe the toenails just lift off and slowly drop the forehead down. All right, we're gonna try passing the ring behind our back body. So, if we have a little more space than me, we'll lift everything, bend the elbow, grab on, lift again, then come all the way back to the top. Other way, lift, bend the elbow to grab. Get a nice big extra lift on your inhale, and exhale, toss it to the front. Other way, right hand, bring it behind you, 
Give it a little tug to lift, come in front. Exhale, give it a grab. Inhale, lift again. Exhale, release and rest. Bend the knees, wash the feet side to side. Nice deep breathing. Bring the chin forward, come on. And then press the circle towards, one, towards each other. Put some compression in, tuck the toes under, and we're gonna protract the shoulders, squeeze the belly button up, forearm plank, squeeze here, pressure into the circle, make it an egg shape. Good, tuck the tailbone from the quads, draw the belly in, four, another isometric hold, three, you can do it, two, and one, sphinx. Lower the hips, pull the heart through the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, bring it onto the knees, and stretch it back. Awesome job. Roll yourself up. Continuing with some lunges, inhale, reach the arms up, see if you can stack the hands over the shoulders. Take the right knee in, tuck it in. Feel the left hip flexor lengthen, the right is strengthening, and send the legs forward. Quad, hip flexor, core on. Nice strong shoulders pressing up in elevation. Flex, land, find your warrior three or balancing stick. Hold it here, bring the circle down. Gently press into it. Tap the toe. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Nice strong body, gaze ahead. Here's two, hold it up, one. Hold it here, take the circle into the right quad and the left tricep. Hold it here. Take a breath. Switch legs. Left down, right up. I get there. Let go of the left hand. Little pulse down. Eight, maybe you straighten the leg a lot harder. Four, three, two, bend the knee. Open the hip and close. Keep the connection, keep the balance. Two more. Open and close. Dip the knees to meet and lift. Two more like that. Knees meet, gaze ahead. Bring it back. Knees meet. Ooh, bring it back. Hold it here. Step the feet back. Start again. Inhale, we rise. Hands over shoulders, gentle tuck of the tail. Left leg lifts. Knee up first. Press the right knee down gently. Quad, hip flexor lengthening. Strengthen the left quad, hip flexor, and the core. Working hard. Hold here. Step forward. Charge. Warrior three or balancing stick. Hold. Send the ring under the shoulders. Press a little bit of weight into it. Don't trust it too much. Strong foundation in the left leg. Eight leg lifts, seven, six, nothing's moving but the leg, five, exhale each one, four, three, two, one, hold it, take the ring to the thigh, and the left tricep, see if you can do it without falling out like I just did, hold it here, palms meet, Woo. breathe, switch legs, Left leg now lifts. Right hand can come to hip. Either extend or hold it bent. Pulse the elbow down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open the knee. Abduct. Adduct, draw it in. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Nice work. Dip the knees to meet and lift. Two more like that. Knees meet, gaze ahead. Bring it back. Knees meet. Ooh, bring it back. Grab it back, grab on and step. Feet together. Inhale, reach up. This time we're gonna step to a wide leg 90 degree lunge. Step, drop. You can stay here or you can add a jump for four, three, two, 
one. Now add a pulse, ring forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Transfer the ring, open, close to the chest. Two, two more here. Two, exhale, one, hold it, send it out, lift the front heel. For four, lift and lower. Three, get down lower. Two, hold everything up on one. Eight more pulses. Eight, seven, six. How high can you get on those toes? Here's three, two, one. Lower the knee and stretch. You can send the foot into one of the handles and try to balance here. Grab on, send the elbows back, heart forward. Hamstring stretch. Nice, grip onto the handles. Send the heart and gaze up as you stretch through the left quad and hip flexor. Breath in and out. And then nice little side stretch here. To the right, to the left. To the right, to the left. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Woo, don't let yourself go. And <laughs> exhale, that's what happens when you release your core. Take it to the back toes so we can step all the way back. Inhale, arms up. Left leg lifts. Breathe it. Step it wide. Regular lunges. Down and up. Or you can add a little jump. For four, three, two, one. Bring the fifth circle in front of the body. Now pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hovering. Back knee. Take it in. Open it up, send it back. Open, bring it back. Twist it open, stack, pull the shoulders in up position. Come back, open, bring it back. And open, bring it back. Front heel raise, four, three, arm in and out. Two, oh, getting hard. Hold it out on one, highest heels, eight, pulses. Keep breathing, keep fighting. Three, two, one. Lower and land. Bring the foot into one of the handles and then gently pull the elbows towards the hips and ribs. Heart and gaze forward. Breathe here. Challenge your edge. Focus on the balance. And of course, the left hamstring stretching. Grab the handles. Step on the foot. Inhale, low lunge. Heart to sky. Let the hip open as it sinks, and then zip it up. Side stretch. Reach it over and center, over and center. Side bend, so you can sink a little bit or maybe just keep nice and neutral. Pelvis under shoulders, up to you. Side and side. Nice work. Come onto the back foot, tuck the toes under, Big step to land. Let's come down to seated. Grab onto the handles and lower the hips down. The toes are about 45 degrees to the corners of the mat. See if you can lower and lift. Two more. Drive it up. Only go as low as it feels safe in your body. This one we stay all the way down. If you can, we'll round the back slightly and sit. And then shift into a low boat. Bring your shins right onto the circle and press down through the hands, shoulders low, belly strong. Depression in the shoulders, heart forward. Breathe here. Bring the feet to the floor. See if you can shift your energy and weight forward so we can lift off the seat. Halfway squatting and folding in chair. Have a seat. Bring the shins right to the circle, push down. Feet down, half squat, half fold, belly strongly pressing into the thighs, have a seat and lift. From here, we're gonna try to lift the legs in to the circle and under the circle, all right? Inhale, round the spine to make the arms a little longer, reach and lower. Four, three, two through the circle and under, and one, legs rest, forward fold, walk those hips back. You could be here, 
or if you're really flexible and that's pretty easy, bring the feet to the handles and then pull the body down here. Couple deep breaths. Stacking the spine, keeping your circle or your ball or your block. Lift up tall through the spine, draw the belly in. Now round it, creating the C curve as you lower down vertebrae by vertebrae, landing slowly head down, looking right in between the circle to the sky. Exhale, tuck the chin, continue to gaze through the middle of the circle. Imagine someone's helping you out as you lift and then your fold. Again, it could be here or it could be pulling yourself forward with the feet in or the feet on. Lift up, stack everything, pull the belly in, round it down, engage that low belly to land, low back, hold, mid back, upper, and then the headlands. Exhale one more time, tuck the chin, peel off each vertebrae, lift up through the spine, and forward fold. Lift up, this time we're going halfway down. Round down, press the circle into the thighs and tip back and forth. Inhale, exhale, press down into the thighs. For three, engage the glutes, keep the shoulders curling off the mat. Two, and last one. Counting a little off <laughs> and hold it here, making it harder. Side to side rock for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We get to land the head. Take the circle over the head. Breathe here. Bring the circle to one side and then allow the hips to roll and come back. Bring the hands over the head. Shoulders drawing down. Inhale. Exhale, circle goes one direction, head turns to follow, and then we peel the hips into a side laying stacked position. Bring it back and through. All right, we're gonna set up the circle in between the ankles and come to one side of the mat so that we can roll into side laying. You can keep the top hand up to make this harder or you can use it for support. And we're gonna lift the legs a few times as a unit, of course, to keep that circle from falling. Draw the belly in. Now hold and pulse the legs together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now you can land the bottom foot and do that again. Eight, seven, six. You can make a pillow for the head. Keep the spine and neck neutral. Here's two and one. Legs lift, bend, straighten, land. Lift, pull them in, push them out, and land. Lift, pull them in, push away, and land. Spiral onto your back, lift the legs and hips. Lower the legs for eight, seven. Hands down, grip the mat, six, keep the low back. Planted, four, three, fight for it, two, and one. Now, feet in the circle. We're gonna take the shoulders off the mat and allow ourselves to just peel up by pushing on the feet, but then don't let the feet take you down. Find your bow and hold it. Lower down, round the spine as slowly and as controlled as you can. I'm gonna lower down where we started. Exhale, tuck the chin, let the feet drive you forward, but then the core has to engage to straighten out, not let the feet take you down. Roll down, slow and controlled. One more time like that. Exhale, tuck the chin, peel the shoulders up, let the feet take you off, and then lift, bend the elbows. If you can, find your tallest boat. Drop one foot and connect for four. Lift and lower, three, two, one. Hold it, switch. Drop the other foot. Four, three, elbows wide, two, and one. Both feet back in the circle. Hold it, bend the elbows. 
Now bend the knees and just pull the chest. So we'll pull the knees in like you're rowing. Four, three, knees to chest. Two, and one. Lower down and we'll go to the other side. Take the circle back into the feet, right about the ankles, wherever you can get that's comfortable for you. Scoot yourself up to one side of your mat so you can have space when you go to your side laying position. You can keep the arm up to make it harder or press down and hold the legs up, pulsing the legs as a unit. Four, three, two, one. Hold it up and then pull your adductors, inner thighs, as you crunch into your circle. Four more, three, two, and then the same thing with the feet, bottom foot down. Eight, seven, now the top leg is working. Four, three, two, one, lift, hold it. Pull the knees in towards the left hand, extend, lower. Inhale, tuck, extend, drop, lift, Tuck, extend, and lower. Come on back. Leg drops. For four, you can support the low back by pressing your thumbs under there, sacrum grounded. Two, and one. Transfer into the hands, open. Transfer into the legs, open. Four, three, Two, this works with a ball or anything as well. And one, hold it here. We're gonna take the um, circle behind the head and grip the handle in front. And then take your elbows wide, lift the shoulders off the mat. And we'll take our little twist here. Try and hit your elbow towards your knee, but remember the head can rest. So we're not pulling on the neck. The core is taking you there. Maybe you can get the elbow across the knee. Here's eight Pilates breath, seven, six, forced exhale. Three, two, one. Gently lower down, take the circle out. Let the head just rock side to side. Nice work. And we'll take it right above the head. Knees to 90, tabletop. Lower the knees, lift, rock one way, and then drive it back up. Try to keep the shoulder blades down. Lower, rock, twist, center. Tap the floor, find 90, twist, come down. Tap, 90, side without falling over. Tap, challenge that edge, but keep the shoulder blades grounded. Zip to the top, tap down and side. Challenge your edge, shoulders connected to the mat, and come back. Now we'll place the circle right up pretty much around the knee, if that feels comfortable, or just find the place where it's okay for your body. Bring the heels and toes to touch. All right, inner thighs might already start to shake immediately. We're gonna thigh master this circle towards the midline. Keep going, keep going, draw the low back down. You wanna make this harder, we'll peel the shoulder blades off the mat for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it a little bit higher, lift and lower the toes. Eight, seven, six, five, fight for it. You could drop the head if you need to. Here's three, two, and one, drop the feet, lower the head. All right, we're gonna take the circle out and just let the knees open and close and wash side to side. Couple breaths here. And we're gonna work into a bridge. Take the circle to your ankles, bring your feet down so your circle might hit your butt. So we're gonna lift it off the mat and then walk the feet closer towards one another. Start to just draw the knees inward, squeeze the glutes and hamstrings up, subtle pulse again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, should not bother your knees, hold it up. Now stabilize onto one foot, hover the other foot. Hold, switch, hover, 
press into the midline, feel the inner thighs on, glutes and hamstrings on, two more. Switch and hover, push together, switch and hover, press together. Now lift the hips a little higher, squeeze everything up. Pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, don't sit on it, and then lift the legs up. Hold it here, leg drops, arms out to the side. As you land, we're gonna squish the knees together, the feet together and open, and lift. Other way, legs drop, squeeze, lift, come back to center. Lower the legs, squeeze them together, lift, lower the legs, squeeze them together, and exhale to rise. Okay, before my iPad overheats, we're gonna balance the magic circle at the back of the ankle and the front of the ankle. Press the palms down, drop the hat, shoulders down, belly in. Lift the legs and lower them. So you might modify there, or we're gonna try to tap the toe down and exhale, slow lower using triceps and core. Shoulders grounded, chin not moving, keep the head stable. Inhale over, exhale, slow drop. Lower the legs for three, two, and one. Can we come to center and switch? And if that didn't happen, adjust as needed. And we'll lift. Inhale, exhale, or full range. Three more. Toe tap, maybe. Slow landing. Two. Exhale, all the air out. And one, slow landing, feel the triceps, feel the core, leg drops for three, two, and one. Bring the circle back. Inner thigh clicks, draw adduction in together, or if that feels easy, lower the legs and continue for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Land the feet. Take a breather, wash the feet from side to side. Nice job. Rock yourself up, balance at the top. You can stay connected, or we can do it here for three. Balance, two, hold it up, and one. Now, nice and slow, straighten and lower down. Use the feet to press you forward with straight legs. Draw the chin towards the chest. Lower down, straighten. Exhale, tuck the chin, pull the elbows wide, peel yourself to your boat. Let go, take the circle down. Breathe here for four, three, two, one. Come down to the feet and onto the knees. Press into your circle. Balancing on one side, not trusting the circle too much, but just enough to press into it and leg lift for four, three, elbow bent back, two, and one. Press, lift. The heel of the palm presses down and we side bend gently for four, three, two, one. Same thing over the head. Reach, draw it back, four, Reach, draw it back, three, here's two, here's one. Switch sides, finish this up, abduct, balance, four, three, two, one, hold it up. Now press down, four, lean into it, three, two, push, peel of the palm down, Arms up, side lean, four, three, challenge your edge, two, drive it up, and one. Awesome job. Take the wheel aside. Come into a downward facing dog. Pedal through the feet for eight, seven. Swivel the hips in opposition. Swivel, four, three, two, and one, take your right hand to your left foot 
and then peel the eyes up towards the sky. Breathe here. And release, left hand to right ankle. Press the right fingers forward, take your twist. Let it feel good. Inhale and exhale, come back through center. Three more push-ups for good measure. Three, two, one, walk back and ragdoll, circle the wrist, circle, shake out, and sweep yourself up to the top. Inhale, side stretch, grab a hold of one wrist, and take it over. Other side, take it over. Make your big circle sweeps. <sighs> Release the spine. Other way. And then two big bows. <sighs> Arms up, chest up. Exhale, release it. Whew. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that magic circle class. And I will see you next time. Bye.